Okay, so I'm coming back to uh, WebOS. I haven't used WebOS for a little bit, uh, but I was really impressed by the YouTube performance when I last tried it. And, uh, and things have come on, it's, uh, it's improving. There's still a lot of things that, that I would like uh, to see on WebOS. This new release, WebOS 2.4.0, uh, which came out on March the 18th, 2020. Uh, they're talking about uh, Internet of Things profile support, Chromium and Qt Wayland upgrade and other enhancements. So if we go down to the Chromium bit, uh, you can see that it's gone from uh, 72 to 79, uh, which is good. So you can see there's various guides in here about getting started, basic setup and so on. Uh, there is Google Assistant setup, so it looks like you can put Google Assistant on here. Obviously you'd need a microphone, uh, I'm not going to do that with my Pi. What I wanted to do was show how good the performance was. Okay, so I've been playing around with uh, various different websites and I was really impressed to see that iPlayer works really well through this. Now, on WebOS on an LG TV, you would get an iPlayer app, uh, which would be the preference uh, to have on this. But actually, this works fine. So if I sign in, okay, so I'm signed in. So if I click on the live bit, uh, I have a TV license. You can see that it comes up pretty quick, comes up with sound, the lip sync is fine. And let's just stop that and go for something else. Oh no, I clicked on the wrong thing there. You can see as a web browser it works quite fast as well though. So that skipped right back into iPlayer really quite quickly. Uh, so if we click on something that I've been playing, and then click on the play, I was just surprised that this works and works well within this browser really. There you go, it looks pretty decent. It says it's playing on the highest quality. Now obviously at the moment uh, it's hard to say uh, if everything's being throttled with the current situation there is. Uh, we don't know if we're getting the best quality on YouTube, but certainly when I tried this before uh, with the older version, uh, when things weren't so strained, uh, it, was, it was working really well. So let's just get rid of that settings tab. Let's get another tab up uh, and let's go for TV player. Uh, I couldn't get uh, channel four to work because it said it needed a flash player. Uh, and I can't see any way of installing Flash into this browser. There may be, uh, but I didn't try it because Flash is going away anyway. Uh, if I click on a program here, let's go with uh, Finding Escobar's Millions on Discover. Oh no, Discovery is a paid for channel. That's not going to work. Oh, and you need to log in. I wonder if I need to log in for a free channel. Yeah. So let's just log into that. So now I'm logged in, you can see the program starts up and works fine. And you can use this uh, as, as a tuner in another room. So if you haven't got an aerial, uh, you can just flick through the channels. Be interesting to see if every, every service works. So that works fine. So I mean, it's, it, it's pretty snappy. Uh, this isn't overclocked as well. Uh, there's a load of things you can change in the config. Um, but uh, overclocking isn't one of them. It looks like it's been disabled uh, because of temperature. So it'd be nice if they, oh, they I've just clicked on a, a paid for channel again. All right, let's scroll down. So it's history paid. Oh yeah, so when it's got a lock next to it, it's uh, you can't watch it. So DMAX, it looks like I can. Yeah, and really, I can uh, I can watch that as well. So there's a load of things you can watch on it, and it and it really is quite usable. Now you can also well let's just let's just go full screen quickly. There you go. Again, this could be toggled. Although TV player doesn't tend to play in the in the top quality or HD anyway, um, so that's understandable. Uh, so I was going to show on the menus. If I drag up from the bottom with a left click, uh, I can move around really fast with my keyboard, left, right, up. You can see it's at the top now. Now it's at the bottom going along the line. And it is super fast, but you can't select something from that. So if I want to select, say for instance, YouTube, 
if I press return, it doesn't work. Now there may be another key um, that selects it, but if I press the left mouse button, it brings up the cursor wherever it last was. So let's click on YouTube just to show that the performance is equally as good on that. And so we can scroll, and we're getting this, uh, this announcement here, so let's dismiss that. So if I click on something, And it'll be interesting to see. Oh, advertising Freeview Play. So this this is interesting because I wanted to mention uh, Freeview Play. If LG, not LG, if WebOS uh, want to sort of further their platform, get loads of people using it, uh, then if they were to add something like Freeview Play, which is available on LG TV, if they added that to the Pi, there'd be loads of content, and I really think people would start using it. And then once people are using a platform then as you introduce new things and you let people know about it, then it can grow and grow. Uh, because at the moment, there is no app store, uh, and so there isn't an awful lot you can do. So let's skip this advert. And so in this, if I now click on settings, yeah, so 1080 comes up. And it's great performance, it, it really is. So let's just pause that. It, you can see the clarity there, it's a nice shot. Uh, and, and it really does look very good and it's the best YouTube performance on a Pi, I think by a lot. Uh, it's, uh, it really is clear. So let's skip through the video by pressing keys. So if you press two, you go 20% into a video, three, you go 30%, so let's do that. So let's press two, you can see the, the um, little timeline along the bottom has changed. Let's go to seven, 70% of the video, and pause that again. And uh, so you can see that it looks really, really good. I'm distracted, let's, let's close, <laughs> get that off full screen. But all of this works really nicely. So 1080 performance, that's great. Uh, there just isn't an awful lot else on here, uh, so uh, the Bear app doesn't do anything, Enact, WebOS. Uh, this tells you about WebOS SE. So if I click on that, you can see various different things and you can read their documents. There you go, and it talks about all the different things about system requirements. So the things I'd like to see, I'd like to see them add to this a, a basic app store uh, where there was just a few experimental things that you can try with uh, or especially TV apps. Now I know there must be some sort of possible licensing deals that they're not allowed to put the TV apps on there, but if they were, you imagine if they started populating this line with lots of TV apps, uh, you know, like the LG TVs have, that would be great to see. Um, but, uh, but the web browser performance is great. Uh, it is, it's a really interesting operating system and I'm gonna keep following it. And if anybody knows of a way of sideloading apps, I'd be really interested. Um, but if I go back up in here, and we go to blog. This is where you can find out about all the updates. So click on that and you can see that I was showing you earlier on my iPad uh, and all the different, there's loads and loads of information here. Interestingly, I couldn't find a guide on controls. So I'm using a mouse and keyboard uh, combo which works fine on it, but uh, I don't know how to shut this down. And uh, things like opening an app, I, I noticed in a previous video someone had done F1 did it, but F1 doesn't do it anymore. All I can get to work is dragging up from the bottom and things like pause uh, on YouTube is space and, and most video apps and pressing the number button on YouTube gets you to that percentage in the video. But apart from that, it's not an awful lot of things that you can do on the keyboard. And most of this, you know, things like profiles is not really usable. Uh, the notification doesn't do anything. Bluetooth doesn't do anything. The share icon, I guess that's a share icon, doesn't do anything. Settings gives you very basic uh, settings. But uh, but yeah, I, I am impressed just for the reason that uh, iPlayer works really well on it, TV player works really well on it, and, uh, and also YouTube is great uh, and the best on the pie. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.